lives in Lawrence with November right around the corner. And an undefeated Texas Tech team playing on the road. A penalty flag flies as Detron Lewis was interfered with. Brad Tree coming back on the field after sitting out the last two plays. Oregon Powell was on the coverage. Look, Grim Harrell does such a good job of allowing the defense. That's interference on number 35 in the defense. It's a spot foul and an automatic first down. And Corrigan Powell is a true freshman, two-time all-district selection, and he, he was the guy caught there. You see the first quarter offense, 32 plays, 15 for first downs, the total yards already in this football game. How about this, Andre? A combined four touchdown passes and two incompletions in that first quarter. Both guys playing at, uh, at high levels. Shannon Woods, big hole, and he's out to midfield for the Red Raider first down. Mike Rivera on the stop. That offensive line for Texas Tech continues to get it done. Well, whether it's protecting Graham Harrell or in the run game, opening things up for uh, for Shannon, what you see here, the misdirection, just kind of holding Kansas a little bit as a receiver comes around, takes a bag, and then Shannon Woods underneath, right behind big Brandon Carter, the junior right guard. You get a little bit of a feel there for the splits of the offensive line, and the left and right tackles are lined up where sometimes a slot receiver would be. Going down to make the catch is Tremaine Swindle, the freshman with his 28th grab on the season. Boy, Graham Harrell operating at a very high level. Watch him right here. Just a, you, You're going to see the, the rush come at him, but watch him step up in the pocket. Right here, nice little play fake. You see the pressure. Step up and deliver the football. That's how you have one sack on the season right there. you got an offensive line that's fantastic, but a quarterback that understands when the ball needs to come out. And you look where the left and right tackles are, how far wide they are. Harrell dumps it off to Eric Morris, very dangerous in the open field. He's got three touchdowns this year, including one on a punt return. He's near the first down marker, come up a couple of yards shy as we check in with Rob. But I talked to Mike Leach about the placement of his offensive line, and he says, yeah, you know, usually one to three yards apart pre-snap, which is probably the, the biggest width you'll see in this division of football, the reason why on pass plays, it makes that edge nice and wide on runs, gives them big old lanes to run through. The key for these linemen, just good technique. Get the scheme out of the way, is what Coach said. Here's a screen on second down and one of those offensive linemen out in front. That's breaking a tackle inside the 10. And ripped out of bounds at the six-yard line by Justin Thornton. With Brandon Carter out in front again. The first one, he got out in front on the screen pass. He swung and he hit. He hit what was in front of him. You see him right here pulling it from the left side of your screen. Big fella just out there. Now he can't find anybody. <laughs> Those guys are a little bit too quick for him. It was all uh, Baron Hatch on that play. And Texas Tech set up right now in the red zone at point blank range. And how about again, Brandon Carter at 6'7", 354. They call him Mankind. He looks like him with all the makeup he's got on today. Running down there looking for somebody to nail. Harrell's pass is caught, and the official got banged up, and he says it's a touchdown, though. <laughs> official rolled his left ankle. Couldn't even really make the sign. He rolled it so bad, but... It is, uh, it is indeed a touchdown for Eric Morris. Right here, nice little out route, and Graham Harrell puts it about the only place he can be thrown for a completion. And uh, you may take a look at this one. I'm not sure that Eric Morris got that foot down. And the ball appears to be across. It's across if it were, if it's, if it's foot did indeed come down in bounds, but I think he's going to come down on the chalk right outside. And the field judge had his, I don't know if he's got his foot stepped on or, or what by Eric Morris. Bobby Bernard, the field judge in this game. Let's take a look here, see how he gets hurt. A well-thrown football to the outside and trying to drag. Oh, whoa. Oh, you he got that there. toe. And both toes are in. It just kind of looked like he was levitating a little bit towards the sideline and didn't get him down, but uh, this is a touchdown. Great job. As you said, incredible accurate throw there by Right Harrell to the pylon, there. right there in the corner of the end zone where only his receiver is going to come up with it or not. And I'm telling you, Corrigan Powell, the true freshman, they have ID'd him. He yep. has got the bullseye on his back. And any vicinity he's in, that's where the, that receiver is going to get the football. And actually it was a non-contact injury for uh, the uh, field judge, uh, Bobby Bernard. They're still looking at it, but it, it did look like he dragged that toe. 
So this is going to stick. They're going to uphold this uh, ruling on the field here that it's a touchdown. Let's get the official word here. After review, the play is confirmed as called. Yep. Touchdown. And we hope now that Bobby Bernard, the field judge, is all right. It looked like he just took an awkward step there because uh, Eric Morris didn't run into him. Just, just trying to uh, trying to get to uh, get to the uh, pylon there to make the call. Gets caught up around that uh, long jump area where the track the track is and can't get the feet get the hands can't quite get his get his hands up. <laughs> now he's got to go down and grab it. See, tough ones like a baseball pitch. When you get hit by a baseball, you can't touch that. You know the cameras are on you. Matt Williams on for his third PAT. The point afters have been adventurous for Texas Tech. They've had six of them blocked this year. That's why Williams won a kicking contest at halftime of a game earlier this season is doing the duties, and he's got three already in this game. Harrell's got three touchdown passes. And we've got an injured official as well. We've seen it all here in just over a quarter in Lawrence. Already 35 points scored. Congratulations. You know a lot about this car. I uh, did my research on cars.com. Seriously, their consumer reviews and dealer locator really helps. Feels pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah, it does, yeah. Plus, now I don't have to use Plan B. What's Plan B? I, I was going to have a witch doctor shrink your head if you didn't give me what I wanted. <laughs> hey, Jay, can I take off? I got a tiny head. Hey, right, sure, go ahead. Sorry about that. I should get him out of here. Right. You can choose how much you pay for unlimited calling, and you can even add lines to share with the whole family. My Circle only from Alta Wireless, and to the My Circle Gridiron Getaway. Text JET to five seven five three three. You and your circle can take a private jet to the game of your choice. Visit altafootball.com for details. So he has done, Mark Mangino, as he walked by, Bobby said, Bobby, you're getting too old for this stuff, man. But you know, Rob, it's amazing you don't see more of those injuries. But these guys are in pretty good shape. You know, these officials. Yeah. You know, it's just kind of an unfortunate thing. He's trying to make a call and gets called up. Here's Marcus Hartford on the return for Kansas. Out across the 25. And knocked down at the 30-yard line. Nice return, and we check in with Reese Davis in the studio. Dave, with the emphasis that Urban Meyer puts on special teams in his Taco Bell studio update, he probably enjoys that Kentucky's Tim Massey has a human rain delay trying to get the punt off. First, Chris Rainey blocked one that led to a two-yard touchdown drive. Tim Tebow doing the honors. And Mastay trying to punt again. This time, it was another speed demon. Jeffrey Depps blocking the punt. That led to a Brandon James touchdown. Florida up 14-0 in the first.